Hey everyone, this is Justin with Digital Tutors, and today's top tip deals with using replace objects in Maya to swap out different models in your scenes. So this truck asset is from some new courses that we'll be rolling out soon, and you can see we have a bunch of different little pieces on here that we can use for this example. So the first scenario that we'll talk about are those times where we need to re reduce the geometry in our model, either because uh, it's going to be a proxy or a background model or just to reduce the overhead. So looking around here, if we take a look at these ladders, these are really prime examples of areas that we can optimize our geometry because they have a bunch of identical steps that are small, but they still have a lot of detail. So let's say that we want to actually just replace all of these steps. You can see they have all these little holes in here. If our model is only going to be seen from back here, maybe we don't need those. And so we could replace those with a very low resolution piece. So to do that, we need a piece of geometry. And let me turn on this layer and show you this piece. And all this is is a simple cube that is the same dimensions as one of our steps. And so looking at this, you can see if I pull up our heads up display and look at the poly count, the step is 4,500 triangles. And then this is obviously 12 triangles. So we're talking about a, a big reduction just on one step. And so the way to go about this would be to select all of the steps that you want to replace. So you don't have to do it one at a time, but we'll just select all of these, let's say on this particular ladder, and then shift select the last one. So you want your step to be, uh, the, your low resolution step to be the last one you select. Then we'll go up to auto, uh, to modify rather, go into replace objects options. And here you can see we have some options. I'll just go ahead and reset all of those just to make sure they're reset. We want to create a copy in this case, so it'll be a completely separate objects. We want to copy the rotation, the scale. Um, we don't have, we'll turn off scale for now because we've scaled it, we've matched it up. And so you'll be able to see that, that still will come in um, matched up. And so we want to keep the last object selected. That means that we'll go ahead and keep this one rather than uh, moving it to one of these spots. So we'll go ahead and say replace objects. And you can see it's taken that one block and copied it into the spots where all of these other steps were. And so just to, with one click there, we've been able to replace those high resolution steps with a lower resolution step. And you can see that we have the base step still going on back here. Now, another way to sort of optimize things would be uh, to, instead of replacing it with a really low resolution piece like, like this, replacing it with an instance. And that will allow us to save a, a memory as well. And that'll always also allow us to change things on one and have it reflected in the others. And so we can go ahead and let's take a look at this step. Here's a copy of one of our existing steps. So you can see it here. So all I'm gonna do now is just do the same procedure here on this ladder. So I'll take all of these and then I'll shift select this one. And let's go ahead and go into the options. And this time we'll choose instance. Okay, so let's go ahead and replace objects. All right, so now we have what looks like the same, pretty much the same steps. Let me go ahead and turn on our wireframe on shaded. Now, let's say we want to come in and reduce the resolution of these steps. Well, we can select an edge loop here. Okay, so this edge loop is on this one, it's on this one, on this one. You can sort of see that it's actually highlighted on all of these. Okay, and so we can go in and go to Mesh, Edit Mesh, Delete Edge slash Vertex to delete that edge loop. And you can see that that edge loop has been also deleted on all of the instances. And so you can go in and modify the topology of one of the pieces or the geometry of one of the pieces and have it reflected on the other. So it speeds up your workflow quite a bit. Uh, and it allows you to just kind of ratchet the resolution up or down on one of these and have that reflected in the other instances, okay? Now, alternatively, there may be times where we wanna block objects in using placeholders or proxies and then replace them with high resolution pieces later. So kind of a, a reverse of what we just did. So let me go ahead and turn off our wireframe. I'll turn off the steps. 
And so let's say that we've put these placeholders in for some of the accessories for this truck. And let's see, these are going to be uh, different kinds of fire extinguishers set around the deck uh, of this truck. And so we've got the placement here. I've got the pivot set on the bottom of these cubes, but otherwise these are just cubes that have been placed around. Okay, so then what we can do is take our extinguisher, and so here we have one fire extinguisher that we've created. And let me go into just the outliner so that we can see this. And so we'll just do the same thing. So I'm going to go into the low pieces, select the cubes, and then I'll select the group of the truck extinguisher last. Okay, so I've got everything selected. So now we can go into replace objects. Let me go ahead and reset this. And I'm going to go ahead and replace objects. And so now you can see that I've taken those low resolution placeholders and dropped in those high resolution fire extinguishers. So you can either take something that's high resolution and you want to reduce the resolution, you could use instances or replace it with uh, really low resolution pieces as we did with the steps. Or you can use it to block in uh, you know, different pieces of your model with low resolution placeholders and then come in when you've got the models done uh, and you're ready to kind of render it out, you can go ahead and replace those with your uh, high resolution geometry. So it can kind of work either way. As you can see, uh, having these fire extinguishers in here uh, really jazzes it up versus having the, the low resolution pieces. So it looks quite a bit better uh, with that high resolution geometry in there. And you can just swap those out really easily after putting in the placeholders. Okay. Well, I, I hope you enjoyed today's top tip on how using replace objects to swap in higher and lower resolution geometry can really transform your workflow when it comes to complex models and scenes. We'll see you next time.